if Rex is with you, he says, if uh, Joker doesn't get here in time, I'm going to kill him. Hmm. Or something to that effect. If I die, he's... If I die, I'm going to kill him, or something like that. It's, it's just... It's a Rexism. I wish I brought him along for that, but I'd rather have Caden just so I don't die as much. Who's this guy? Brenda. Kill this bastard! We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> yeah, I like your attitude. So do I. To the window! To the wall! Alright. So, this is one hell of melee. But you're not using melee. Oh, hi. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. He snuck up behind me. Fuck. I didn't have my, uh, my thing active at the right time. I, I still cannot believe all this. Saren's looking. Blah, 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 blah. At least you have four people for this particular one instead of three, because it wouldn't be a lot. Oh, yeah, it's difficult. pretty rare to have that. <laughs> yeah. Which means we have the perfect, like, balance, basically, because Caden's half technology and half bionics. Blah, blah, blah. Kill these assholes! Brenda, don't. Thanks for giving. Whatever it is. Yeah, kill. Oh, that's how we actually got more information out of them. Oh, I guess. I don't know what that information was, but oh, they're here to kill the Asari. Oh. We already knew that, so. Yeah, it's fine. You're also doing worse than you did last time, if you cared. Am? How? How? How was that? Oh, never mind. I'm not dying. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that Krogan went. He's the one I'm concerned with. He's the only one that does any real damage. Oh, there we go. Ah! No! Stop immunity. There we go. Whoa. Alright. I take it back. <laughs> You're doing worse this time. It <laughs> did <laughs> seem like it at first. Yeah. Honestly. I was just going a little crazy there at the start. I was just going by specifically how fast you were killing people, but you're not actually doing a really good job of keeping track or keep taking them down. Yeah, it's more important for Shepard to just not die and kind of plink at stuff in the first game. Uh -huh. So that's why I try to like get on my wow, shield. The surround stuff. sound is really extreme on this scene. Pretty effective, but it's very unusual to have everything be so loud like that. Ship is just like, oh god. <laughs> you did have to run a long way. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. <laughs> Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. 
It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Shut they up, were God. wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? <laughs> but I have blew never her mind. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Well, I this am the main character. Saren, or the conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit. Or Saren. <laughs> what are you good for? I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Which is the main reason I'm happy I went to go get her first. <laughs> Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. Uh, come on, when suddenly. was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Did he say chalk Coupled wash? with the shock of discovering the Protheans' Dr. true fate. Chalk wash. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? <laughs> patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. You didn't At expect a lot of things. A Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> the Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. 
Yeah, that was the first opportunity to hang up on them, but I think it's a little too early in to start jumping to that. Mm, anyway, I, I anyway, that's enough for now. We have our full party that I'm going to be using throughout the entire game at this point. Actually, let's go ahead and spend her pal her talent points while we're still here so I don't forget to later. Um, I need to go and get shield boost. I don't know why I wouldn't have that by now. Oh, right, hang on. Oh, I can't spend points until she's in my party. Okay, well, never mind then. Screw it. All right. Great. Well, um, I'm going to do a little bit of checking to see what side quests we have now that Liara's on board. Um, that was a major plot point, and usually things get shuffled around at the Citadel whenever you go through those. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what we can do. And I'll meet you back here next time for more adventures in the Traverse. Sayonara.